Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit T-Rex 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the back button. Keep holding the button until you see the Amazfit logo on the screen. And once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. Okay, and once the uh, watch is done booting up, you should see the list of langu languages on the screen. You can scroll th through this list, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and then tap on it to select it. After you select the language, you will need to download and install the Zep application on your iPhone you want to pair your watch with. So tap on the check mark. You can scan this QR code to uh, get the link for the app download, but I'm just going to use the App Store on our iPhone. Uh, to download the app, you'll need to have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled to pair the devices together. Once you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled, you can open the App Store or scan the QR code. In the App Store, we can tap on search, then tap on the search bar and type in ZEP with two P's at the end. And you should see this app on the list, ZEP Health and Fitness. Tap on the Get button to download and install it. Okay, and uh, once the application is done downloading, you can tap on open. And now we need to log in into Zep account. If you don't have an account, tap on sign up and make a new one, then use it to log in. And if you already have an account like I do, tap on login, enter the email address and password, and then you can tap on login to continue. like this. And after you log in, you will see a lot of pop-ups on the screen about the permissions. So let's deal with them. First one is the Bluetooth devices. If you see this pop-up, allow it, this one is required. Next we have the notification permissions. This one is not required, but if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow this permission. Otherwise the notifications won't work. Uh, next we have the password update. I don't care about that. And then we have the health access. This is basically um, permissions for the health features. And uh, as you can see, we can allow the app to write the data for the features and read the data. Uh, and if you want to use any of the health features, you will need to uh, allow the permissions for them. So for example, if you want to track the steps, you will need to um, allow the permissions in the app. Um, I'm just gonna tap on uh, allow uh, turn on all and tap on allow, but you can customize this to your liking. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see this uh, tutorial how to use the application. We can go through it by tapping on the arrows. Okay. And once you're done with the tutorial, you can tap on device icon, tap on watch, tap on agree, tap on allow. And now we need to scan the QR code uh, from our watch. So basically pick up your iPhone, point your iPhone's camera on the watch. And once you scan the QR code, it will start connecting. If you see this pop-up, tap on pair. Press the select button to confirm. Uh, you can allow the permission for the motion and fitness activity. So, so basically this is for step counting and stuff like that. So if you want to use it, tap on allow. If you don't care, tap on deny. Then we can tap on done. Here we can enable the calendar uh, sync. So if you want to see the pop-ups about the events from your calendar on your watch, you will need to tap on enable and tap on allow full access. Then we have the location permission, which is useful for local weather and other stuff that requires uh, lo location permission. You can tap on enable if you want to allow it. Then tap on done. And then you should see the device page. Um, and on it, there should be your Amazfit T-Rex 3, which means that devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.